hey guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me also thank you to everyone who has subscribed we are almost at 3,000 that's the goal by the end of the year so if you haven't done so please go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're not one of my YouTube besties so we went to Long Beach for the weekend for one of our friends birthday parties this is the Hyatt that we stayed in it was really cool it's right off the strip so really close to shopping and all kind of restaurants the room was really cute we always get a room like this hey y'all we always get a room like this you know big king size bed pretty collage on the wall and you can't beat the view the view is what really sells the room at least for me though there's like a thousand places we could eat me and Tony always end up at PF Chains one of our favorite restaurants and we kind of get one or two of the same things we always get those ribs those dry rub ribs are bomb I had this really cool new drink called a coconut refresher I'll talk about that more later and then I got the salmon because y'all know I love some daggone salmon Pretty much spent Saturday sightseeing and relaxing and then we went to our friend's drag birthday brunch the next day. Hello guys and welcome to the vlog. The beginning portion of this video I showed you our weekend in uh, Long Beach. We did a little bit of a staycation. Our good friend V's birthday was this weekend and she was having a Sunday brunch in Long Beach so we just decided to make it a whole weekend. I did not get much footage from Sunday because I dag near died. I was acting like I was 20 and my body is like, girl, have several seats. So that's why I'm kind of looking like who did it today. I am in recovery mode from drinking and dancing and singing and all that good stuff. But I just dropped Tony off at the airport. Babe is leaving on business yet again. So I'm just gonna get a couple of things from the grocery store because I don't really feel like cooking cooking this week since she's not gonna be here. Yeah, and then we're gonna go home. I got a new Amazon package I wanna share with y'all and I want to share with y'all my weekender bag because it is so cute. But let's go ahead and head into the grocery store. Okay, y'all, so I made it back home. Didn't do anything major at the store. I am in my pajamas because y'all, I'm telling y'all I'm not feeling good. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around, show you a little bit I got, and then I'm gonna show you what I got from Amazon, and we're gonna clean up this house because this house is looking atrocious. So I got two bell peppers, one yellow, one orange, one jalapeno, one sweet onion, needed some more sugar. And then, okay, we're gonna pause. When we went to PF Chains this weekend, and if you follow me on TikTok and Instagram, you should, I don't know why you're not. But if you do, um, you saw the drink I had. I love all things coconut. I don't know why I've never had coconut water because I feel like I should like it, but anyway. They had a coconut refresher. I'm gonna try to remake it minus the rum. The Lord knows I don't need no more alcohol. But yeah, I got some coconut water, coconut milk, and it's just ice and a little bit of sugar and nutmeg. So if you like horchata, it kind of puts you in the mindset of horchata. So I got both of these for my little drink I'm gonna have. Needed some crushed tomatoes. 
I got some, I've never had this brand, Purdue. Don't know if these are gonna be good, but they didn't have Tyson chicken nuggets, but chicken nuggets usually are just chicken nuggets. So I got these lightly breaded chicken nugget chunks. I got a Hungry Man, so I like to keep this in the freezer, just in case. Some little Funyun chips I got at checkout. Some golden crinkle fries to have with nuggets. I got, y'all, I have not had these since like, senior year in high school and this is not macaroni a lot of people false advertise this is shells and cheese macaroni is baked and it's in the oven but anyway um so i got two of these again y'all i'm not cooking like i'm not cooking this week i'm just not feeling it i'm burnt out i'm tired i'm old I'm not doing it but anyway so i got these keep in the freezer i don't even know if i'll eat these this week but it's just always good to have stuff like this in the freezer for quick lunch quick dinner i got some wild cherry capri suns and i have a bit of a sweet tooth so i got these mini they're like pound cakes yeah so like after dinner i have one of these you know two three nights a week i don't like a lot of sweets but i like stuff like this i can just grab i don't have to bake anything but anyway i got this oh and also got the back to school stuff was on deck and y'all know usually i go crazy but i didn't need a lot so i just got these highlighters that i do need Paper plates, and I'm gonna be super lazy. This it's too hot to be in the kitchen, y'all. But anyway, paper plates, and I got this big old thing of funyuns, as you can tell. I need to clean. But yeah, that's all I got. And I only spent about $53. I think it was $53. $53, y'all. Okay, so I did want to come in here and show y'all my Amazon stuff. First being this beauty. It is so cute, y'all it's um a weekender basically you know you go like on a weekend trip we really don't need luggage just need a nice size bag boom this can also be a very good carry-on i like my backpack so i don't know if i'll use this as a carry-on or not but it comes with this little pouch for like your toiletries and stuff which i think is really cute i always love when you get like two or three bags for one so it comes with the matching carrying kit it is super spacious y'all i had more than that room y'all know i'm an overpacker so i loved it on the inside it has two just floating pockets this one's a little small well actually they're the same size but you can easily fit a cell phone in there and then on the other side of that there is the zip compartment what i love about sorry if you guys can hear me i have the fan on because even though it's overcast, it's like 10,000 degrees in California. But one of the things I really like about this bag is this bottom compartment for your shoes. I love this because I think it is really gross when people pack their shoes. I'm judging. I think it's really gross when people pack their shoes and their luggage and like you walk on the street and in stuff on your shoes and you're putting that with your clothes. That's just weird vibes i always wrap my shoes like you know just bags you get from grocery or something like that just so it's not touching my actual clothes you know you don't want dirty stuff or cooties to rub off on your clothes but anyway i love this compartment i still am going to wrap my shoes but i like the fact that there's its own little compartment for it just because i don't want to get the inside of my bag you know dirty with the stuff on the bottom of my shoe also love the fact that it has the little slip thing um, if you wanna carry it or use it as a carry-on. Like this will go over your roller bag. And there's also a compartment in here. Another thing that I loved is it came with a dust bag. Now, if you've like ever gotten designer bags or anything like that, you know they come with a dust bag. So when you store them, still haven't unpacked them this weekend, y'all. But I'm doing it today, which is like, major adulting because usually i let this stuff sit in the suitcase for like a whole week but um when you store your bag you always want to store you know your really good bags in a dust bag so they don't get dusty they hold their shape you know whatnot didn't want to show you in the carry-on i'm sorry the i'll keep calling it carry-on i don't know the little pouch that comes with it i think it's basically for toiletries but it's very spacious. I was able to get a full size of lotion, um, deodorant, I didn't even know what this was. Deodorant, I brought my essential oils for my hair in there. I also had my washcloth as well as my shower cap. So it fit a lot in there. I think I also had my lip gloss and chapstick. 
but really spacious and it also has a zip component as well zip compartment y'all i'm tired i'm so sorry i know this vlog is gonna be all over the place but your girl is tired it also comes with the traditional straps sorry if you hear it. um fire truck going by and then it comes with you know if you want to do crossbody or carry it the long way i love this bag i got it on prime day i put the description or the link where you can actually buy it on amazon i do y'all have an amazon shop i have not gotten my storefront together hopefully i will do that by this weekend and i'll advertise that for y'all if y'all want to click on links um to the things that i have bought or want to buy or feel like we all should be buying but i just love this bag i got it on prime day and i believe i only spent 30 dollars it's regularly i want to say 45 or 50 it could be 50 but to me for the quality and how big it is plus you get the extra little bag totally worth it i would i would buy it at 50 dollars but again you cannot beat those prime deals Chad, how do you get in this bag? I'm gonna fold this and put it back in my closet in the dust bag just because I'm not going on the trip probably till late fall. We'll be going back to Memphis probably. And then I'm probably gonna take another trip to Denver, hopefully. And I'm gonna show you what I am super excited to open that I haven't even opened yet. We're gonna open that together. What I'm super excited to open with y'all is this big box it is a cordless vacuum now before y'all laugh at me yes i am excited to open my cordless vacuums i am a housewife i like appliances i like things that make being a housewife easy i do not like cleaning okay i don't like doing it you know some youtube like oh my god i love cleaning not me. i have the worst luck when it comes to vacuums and personally i i I know it's because we buy cheap vacuums. I think I'm, the most we've ever spent on a vacuum is like 125 and that was a, a Eureka. Was it a Eureka or a Dirt Devil? Either one. Um, you know, we buy them and I always tell my spouse, I want a Dyson or I want an LG. And yes, they are way more expensive, but everyone that I know that has one like oh it lasts me for like five ten years you know da, da, da. mine's last me a year if i'm lucky so i figure if you have to buy a vacuum every one to two years we just bought a dyson but i'm still losing that battle hopefully i will win it by next year but until then on prime day uh we agreed that it was okay for me to buy a cordless vacuum i just love the idea of not having to deal with cord and just charging it like everything else in my life so i'm very excited to use this amazon with these boxes and boxes y'all this is what i got it's called the u jerk uject cordless vacuum cleaner number model number s s7c pretty cute pretty cute it's like a great value dyson looking thing I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. Like I told you, like my house is looking a hot, a hot mess. So I have to clean up. I'm going to run the vacuum. I have to do another little laundry, fold the laundry. How do y'all wash, dry, and fold your laundry all in the same day? Like what narcotic are you guys on? What are you taking? Leave it in the comments so I can take some too. So I can never do that. I can never do that. I have like two loads of laundry on the couch that I just didn't get to before we left. And now I'll have a third once the batch that I'm running is done. I don't know how you guys do it. You guys are weirdos, but I envy you weirdos. But I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna vacuum the living room and the hallway needs a good vacuum. I'm gonna wipe down my stove top. I already put away the grocery. And we're going to fold until there are no clothes. <laughs> left on my couch, hopefully. 